What's up insiders? This is your weekly news flash. You've just tuned in to a set of updates from the product team, from the policy team here at YouTube. Everything, all of these teams have been working on. Let's get started. First up, we have a bug that we've since resolved. Recently, we discovered an issue whereby ads were running on monetized videos, but YouTube analytics wasn't reflecting the revenue earned. We've since resolved the issues and there are two things to call out. First of all, creator revenue wasn't actually impacted. And the second thing is that YouTube analytics now shows the most up-to-date estimated revenue. We'll leave more about this in the description below. Next up, let's discuss an experiment, an experiment where we're trying to improve the monthly channel performance analysis we provide to you. How are we doing this? Insights around evergreen videos as additional drivers to help you understand how overall channel performance, specifically views, are changing over time. If you're part of this experiment, you'll see the analysis in studio and leave us any feedback in the comments below. Next up, we're happy to announce that we have refreshed our creator site. What's new about it? Well, we've organized it into a couple of different sections just for you. Sections that will tell you things like how to get started on YouTube, how to grow your channel, how to understand the policies and guidelines, how to make money on YouTube and answer your top questions. We're always here as backup in case you wanna drop any questions into the comments box below, but for everything else about our newly refreshed creator site, you can find it in the link in the description below. Next up, let's talk about kids content. We've heard from a lot of you that you like a little bit more guidance as to how you can make great quality content for kids on the platform. Well, we're trying to provide just that. We've created a new Help Center article, which you can find where in the description below this video that will outline best practices as well as guides to why something might be considered high quality content versus low quality content. Now, next up, let's talk about money. Starting this month, creators can earn a bonus payment from the YouTube Shorts Fund, a hundred million dollar fund designed to reward creators who make creative and unique shorts. Now, those bonus payments are going to range from $100 to $10, thousand dollars us and the payment will be awarded based on the channel's total shorts performance in the previous month now next steps starting next week if you qualify for this bonus from the youtube shorts fund you'll get an email from us as well as a notification in the youtube app letting you know the amount of the bonus and how to claim it. And the best news i hear you ask if you don't qualify for it this month we'll be evaluating who is eligible for this bonus payment on a monthly basis. So if you're not in the mix this month, keep an eye out, you may be in the mix next month. Now we're gonna leave a little bit more information in the detailed YouTube creators video. You'll find that in the description below this video. And that's about it from me. This has been your weekly newsflash. I'll be back again this week to discuss harmful or dangerous acts, how the advertiser friendly guidelines tackles them and what would be considered green icon versus yellow icon content. Thank you so much from the creators of YouTube to YouTube creators. It's been a pleasure as always.